I almost died, my lips turned blue. I'll tell y'all this last thing before I run. This place is, it's gritty. It's, it's like Fight Club, man. It's, the first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. It's Absolutely not. no record. Oh, no, baby. Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Right down. Right down. There you go. End it right now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Men have been testing themselves to the point of exhaustion and severe injury since the beginning of time. Today's man is a different animal and faces different challenges, so we evolve. Sometimes evolution isn't exactly what we expect. Sometimes we search for acceptance or an easy way to feel good in a crazy world, like gangs or drugs. Today, Corey gave us a pass into Satan's Backyard, or Street Beefs, started by Chris Wilmore, aka Scarface. Everybody calls me Scarface, or Face for short. I ran with a gang and we ran into some guys from another gang. He had had a knife and he sliced me the first time. And the second time it plunged into my esophagus. I know firsthand how a, a small dispute can lead to somebody lying in the street bleeding to death. And that's why I created Street Beefs. You know, a lot of what I do is therapeutic for me. And that's what's allowed me to stay out of prison. If I do this for 30 years and only save two lives, man, that's two lives. And I'd like to think we'll save more. And I'm proud of that. That's the one thing I really am proud of. I wanted to get you into the backyard and talk to the people involved. So, let's get started. Years ago, I uh, I had been withdrawn for several days. And, uh, what's up, brother? And uh, my, my dealer was out, so on and so forth. So he calls me, hey man, I, I got my stuff. So I rushed out there. Anybody that's been an opiate addict knows how it is when you've been without. So I rush out there, he give me 200 milligram patches. So I ate one, cut it open, ate it. And I walked about 15 minutes, I saw I'm still sick. So I ate another half of a hundred. And that's about all I remember. I was in the car, I was throwing up my friend there, put me in the bathtub. I, I was in bad shape. I'm talking about literally throwing up out my car window and uh, I almost died, my lips turned blue. Fentanyl, I'll tell y'all this last thing before I run. Fentanyl is bad and people say it has no medical use. Well, let me tell you a story. In 2001, I broke both my ankles in a car wreck. Compound fractures, bones popped out. They cut me out with the jaws of life. They gave me a shot of morphine. Didn't help. I'm still screaming. They shot me again. It wasn't working. The pain was too bad. So finally, they said, hit him with the fentanyl. I went right to sleep. Mm. And that was with two compound fractured ankles. So in, in moments of extreme pain, I think the problem with fentanyl is they're prescribing it to people with back injuries, you know. And don't get me wrong, I got two blown discs, they hurt, but you don't need fentanyl, you know. So uh, if you're out there on it, you're playing with your life. It's, it's a roll of the dice with fentanyl, man, when it's going to hit you too hard and drop you, you know. And especially now people lacing shit with it. Be careful. Shout out to my guy, man. I love thank the channel. You. Absolutely. I don't mean to be rude. I got to get to the fights, but. Bro, thank y'all so much for letting me come in here. I know yes, the first sir. thing y'all told everybody is no recording. Nobody can record anything, so I appreciate that. Absolutely time. no recording. I understand. Unless you're down with the team. That's what's up. So tell me what made y'all get to start, man. I know a little bit about Scarface's story. How did you get involved in this? Well, uh, I'm, I'm a three time champion. I've always been into fighting. Um, Blaze, yeah, he better talk. I heard about Scarface from a from a guy online 
And I, I literally was just bringing fighters down there mm. to his backyard when he first uh, started off. And after about a year, he said, hey, man, uh, how much do I have to pay you so you come work for me? And that's more or less how I started working for him. I just was uh, taking my fighters down there, competing more or less. Um, we had a good group of fighters up there in Winchester area, so we were bringing them down. Scarface said, hey, man, move your gym. I get you a bigger gym. As you see, we got 5,000 square foot now. I only had one ring in my old gym. I got three rings with the UFC cage now. Memberships are always free at Neutral Corner. That was another part of the deal. And I got a raise. So I did move down here um, about three years ago. Gloves up, guns down. It originated as a source, uh, source Scarface already told you, uh, you know, just out of people beefing mm -hmm. and then just trying mm -hmm. to more or less, uh, you know, me and you have a problem. We can agree we have a problem, but I think we can both a mutual agree that one of our lives don't have to be taken from it mm -hmm. by either me killing you or our lives being taken by being put in a cage. So to alleviate them to, you have to be at some type of a man level and say, you know what, I mean, you got a problem. I don't think it's worth my life. I don't think it's worth your life, but we can solve it this way physically. And no one gets in trouble. You know, it might, it might hurt a little bit. It's probably gonna hurt a little bit. But in the end, it's a little, uh, everybody gets to fight another day, you know? And that's the whole thing about it. American gang violence is to blame for up to 15% of homicides in the U.S. Social media has amplified this by becoming a tool for gang recruitment, a way to communicate, and a way to watch for the ops' hideout. Sometimes even live streaming their own death. At Street Beefs, they allow beef matches to settle disputes. So maybe you want to punch some bully in the face from the old days? This is the spot to do it. Just show up on fight day and glove up with that special someone. This is something positive. We do this every month. It's free. You go to USA Boxing, they charge you. You got to jump through all these hoops. You got to get these, you got to get blood. You got to get all these different things done. We've circumvented all that. We give a place for everybody to come, get all that built up energy. You don't give them nothing to do. You know what they say, uh, uh, what does it say, the devil's hands? Idle hands, the devil's workshop. And that's what it is. And, and this gives them every month, gives them something to train for. We have big names that come out from UFC, from Pride. We get people coming from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, all over the world. Dude here just fought Crow Popper, Crow Popper earlier, Yeah, right? man, that dude like, is a monster. That Korean dude. Oh, I let him give me a body shot one day in there, and uh, he, he did tell me my abs were like steel, so I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> but I shook it off. But I've been boxing a long time. Anybody else would have crumbled. Right. You know, he, yeah, he's guaranteed. a monster. Shout out to Baby J, man, for going all the rounds with that dude. That dude yes, is a monster, bro. dude. It's, and, and, and listen, I'm a man. I always stand on anything I say, and I'm a man. I always apologize when I'm wrong. I was wrong about that, and Baby J shocked me. All these kids, when they're growing up, they're all looking to be part of something. Something, they want to be part of something. Mm -hmm. It's just in our nature. We're, mm -hmm. By humans, we're nature, social Tribal. beings. We're social beings. Y'all heard that shit, bro. Nobody else has this except for their channel, man. So get with it, like, subscribe, and share. Y'all know how it works. So what's up, man? How you doing? You're I love good? this belt, bro. Thank you, man. This snake skin right here. That's what's up. So who are you? Why are you here? Tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm Demon Monsoon. I'm considered a Street Beast OG. Um, I've been here for five years. I've had over 40 some odd fights. I actually train here at Neutral Corner and at Mastering MMA. And I pretty much have been fighting to promote autism awareness. Okay. I have severe autism. I know it doesn't kind of show, but I won this belt at a Street Beast Mixer about three or four years ago. I've been training for five years. I'm actually about to go pro, hopefully uh, in November or later on in the year, get my first pro fight, get it in, have fun. I'm just doing it for fun. Like, this is okay. my this is my joy. This is like kind of therapy for me when I'm here. And plus, seeing everybody, it's like epic. And then when I have my I have guys from my other gym, Mastering MMA. They're fighting today. Proud of those guys. I've worked with them. So it makes me happy. Like I get so, to do this. So what is it that got you into it? Like what was it that made you say one day that light bulb came on and you said, "Yo, I want to fight." Well, my dad and I watched Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward fight. Come to find out, he actually fought in the Navy, and I'm like, dude, I gotta be like my dad, and he never got to go pro, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow in his footsteps, but finish his story along with mine. There you go, that's what's up, man. I feel like this is definitely a community of brotherhood here, right? Oh, it is. Um, I can tell you now, um, I met Face five years ago. 
I come down here and train with him on Wednesdays. We're a huge group. We, like, we look out for each other. Like, if one's hurting, we all hurt. You can kind of tell when we're all here, everybody's together. If you don't have a corner guy, they got guys say, hey, we got you. I mean, we all know each other. We check in on each other. We look out for each other. Thank you. Thanks, man. This is awesome, bro. I love yeah, this I love fucking this belt thing. right there. Yeah, man. Tell us your name and why you do this. How long you been here? Uh, Carissa Beckett. Um, I've been working for Face and Street Beefs for about five years now. Um, originally from Jersey. Uh, we came down here. We would drive down um, once a month for five years. I moved down to Virginia, me and my family. Uh, and I've been working here ever since. I help um, run the gym, coordinate the fights. I help with security, uh, anything that FACE needs and the fighters. Uh, and it's honestly the best job in the world. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like you like it. You've been walking around with a smile on your face the whole day. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a great time. There's a lot of love here, um, a lot of growth, a lot of support. Um, I always tell everybody, that you know they worried about violence in the streets but when you come here and we all come together for fighting everybody supports each other they learn from each other they grow from each other like it's a really good environment people change their lives here changed my life just coming down here to virginia um and it's been it's been a hell of a ride really and you said you thought this was going to be a short one it sounds like they're going at it don't it it does yeah no it does and it, it's you know we have a lot of big events and sometimes we have some small events but every event is like packed full all the time of of action and and tons of spectators everybody has a great time outstanding thank you so much for the interview oh, yeah, what no you problem. do here is fucking awesome yeah. i think everybody appreciates it absolutely we appreciate everybody everybody's got to come on out come on out it's a great time you will love it. This dude with the blue gloves has been waiting all night to get in the ring, bro. This guy right here has been dying to swing them arms. And now he is. Brother, that was outstanding. Y'all banged it out, man. I'm Jamie. Good Thanks, to meet Jamie. you. What's Jack, your name? Tell us a little bit Jack, about you. Uh, fighter named Fitzy. I'm from Charlottesville. Boxing is incredible, and it's helping me fight my addiction to alcohol. Nice. So that's kind of what my channel is about is addictions, man. So this is something that's gotten you out of that feeling. You're getting your same feelings from it's fighting now? It's, it's, I'm trying, you know, but it's still got a hold of me a little bit. But this definitely helps you know right so you're trying to transition over from one thing that makes you feel a certain way to a something else that's, that's more healthy that's good for you yeah. yeah absolutely yep and then how about the gym and all that stuff too so i guess you've taken into working out eating gym better. In I try to eat good but i'm pretty poor so there's ways around it but um what made you want to start fighting i just kind of pots in my head i think god was probably twisting my arm a little bit just like putting the seed in there because lord knows i got issues so right i think all of us do yeah so tell me about this you just got done beating the hell out of this dude he beats the hell out of you and then y'all hug each other uh -huh. yeah i mean that's what men do you know separates the men from the boys boys go and fucking cry have a little hissy fit some grown-ass men in there just hug it out be warriors about it you know killer fight dude yeah, killer thank you you motherfuckers banged it out didn't they yes they did i started down here at street beefs in 2021 i have over 40 fights with them I just recently went pro with, Bear, uh, with BKFC. I have three fights in there. One time Golden Gloves champ, and that's where I'm at right So now. what is it about fighting that makes you like, like what made that light bulb go off one day and said, yo, I wanna fight? Back in school, I got kicked out of regular school, put into an alternative school for fighting. Um, I got charged with assault, so after that, uh, they put me on probation at a uh, boxing gym to clean up the gym for community mm. service, and that's where it started. That's what's up, and you took it serious, man. I think a lot of people don't do that. A lot of us get in trouble, and then we just go through the motions of the consequences without taking it serious. But since you took it serious, here you are today doing a lot better, right? Yeah, Street Beefs is where, is where it all came for me, like full circle. Like, they got me my shot in a pro organization. That, like, that, that's uh, who saw me, the BKFC, and now we're here. And, uh, yeah, I'm always repping them, and, um, yeah. Nice. I love the loyalty amongst you guys, man. Yeah. I think that's...
fucking awesome. I appreciate the interview, brother. Thank Good you. luck to you, man. Thank you. My name's HD, been fighting out here almost about a year now. Uh, saw it all over YouTube and decided, man, got to come out here. I was a high school wrestler. Hey, Eight hey. years of no training, won my first match and caught the bug. I've been doing it since then and uh, actually did my first amateur last week in uh, New right. York, Queens. Okay, so tell me what it was that day that just made that light bulb go off in your head and say, yo, I want to fight. I was talking to Static. I was talking to a couple of other guys that all had matches, and I knew I could throw down myself, but I was just watching everyone else do it, so I decided to come out and uh, test myself out. Okay, so you say you knew you could already fight. Just all street fights, you know. Everybody's always having their altercations. I was always the guy in the friend group everyone looked to to kind of defend, so never lost out there, so I figured I'd come in here. Oh yeah, that's what's up. So what's it doing for your life today? Like, how do you feel it's changed your life since you started messing with these guys and this family of people? Uh, I don't drink anymore. I cut back on my smoking a bunch. I, uh, I train multiple times a week now. I mean, just overall fitness, I'm a lot healthier than a year ago. There's a whole lot of things in this world that are bad for you. And whether you're out here getting hurt or not, you're feeling better in your life and 100%. that's what it's all about, right? 100%. I would never give anything up like this, man. Like you said, a uh, little Mac. It's a big family. Every time I come out here, I'm not even fighting today, and it's nothing but love. I can't beat it. I've heard that so much today, bro. I appreciate you taking the time, man. Uh, Damien, but my fight name is White Wolf. Okay, so what was it that made you start fighting, man? That light bulb came on one day, and you said you wanted to fight. Tell me about that. Um, I got picked on a lot in high school, and it was kind of my way of taking the power back that got taken away from the people that were, you know, bigger than me. So that, that's what kind of started it, and then I kind of found Street Beefs a few years down the road, and now here I am. So you're talking about being bullied in school. Is that, that's where it all started out? Yep. Was it like a group of guys? Was it just a couple uh, individuals? Anyone? Anyone who is bigger and stronger than me. So that made you set your sights on, yo, I'm, I'm tired of this. I'm yep. not going to be taken this way. I'm going to become bigger, stronger, and not let these people pick on me. Yep. Did you ever take care of those guys that bullied with you in any uh, way? One of them I did, yes. Um, it, it wasn't a very long fight after I learned how to actually fight. So was that here at Street Beefs or uh, was that on the street? No, that was out in the streets. I haven't actually, I've never had a beef fight here. I try to avoid beef. I don't like having issues with anybody. I'm a really nice guy. <laughs> you, seem, you seem like you have a good vibe, bro. So let me ask Thank you this. Like, if one of those guys was around and they was able to come in here and fight with you, that one of them guys that picked you on you in school, like, how would you handle that? Get in the cage, glove up or shut up. This is Street Beast, obey my commands and protect yourself at all times because ain't nobody else going to do it. Back to you. Hands up, hands up. Don't go out. Preston Edgar, I'm from Portage, Pennsylvania. We drove four hours today to get down here. Um, my fight name is The Fighting Leprechaun, 225. Uh, weight, uh, my age is 29. And this is what we do, man. We come down here, we do is I fought Tough Man, Rough and Rowdy, and now Street Beefs. Um, man, I've never been anywhere that's like this, though. Okay, so. tell me more about that. What do you mean by that? So, this place is, it's gritty. It's like Fight Club, man. It's, but with, but with, with respect, with, uh, dignity, honor, you know what I mean? Nobody's ever come out of this ring and had bad words to say to each other. I think that's awesome, so. You know, I, you can't find it. Anymore. I'm actually uh, a drug addict in recovery right now. Okay, perfect. Tell me about uh, that. So I was an IV meth user for, uh, for six years, uh, three years just recently. Um, I just got clean back in August. Congratulations. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, it's all a pill for you know? That means you know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're at in life. Um, you can get through it, man. Call somebody. Swain, Samuel right. Swain. How long you been coming out here and checking these guys out, man? I've been staying at home watching them for years. Okay. But today, my brother-in-law decided that he wanted to come out and participate. So I said, well, when you do, let me come with you. And that's why I'm here today. Okay. So who's the, who's this that you're rooting for? Mo Better. Mo, Mo Better. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to follow Mo Better. Get Mo Better to come talk to us, man. We're going to see what he likes about okay, fighting. Okay, he over there signing in now. He so let me ask you this. What is it about this that you like? Like, what is it that makes you want to see what's going to happen next, man? Hey, it's just the excitement. I mean, sometimes you be thinking, oh, oh, oh he going to lose, he going to lose. And then the other person just come back and just win. And, right. and, and you know, like I said, I, I love it. And I, I see, love this I sport. see you got the street beef stuff on your head.
I want to thank everybody at Street Beast Man, especially Scarface and Corey for letting us film. I didn't want to go there and just steal footage. I wanted to talk to the fighters and I wanted to gain an understanding of their mindset. And I feel like we did that. Now, as you can see, I bought merch while I was there, man, because that is a way to support these channels. So this is some of my merch, bro. If you like this shirt or the one that you saw in the video, you can get that at spankingmonkeys.store. I would surely appreciate that. It would help me to make more content. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe the next time... I might participate myself. There you go. I got to get myself a little bit better shape, though. Okay. But I'm sure these boys in the gym right here get you straight. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to try today, but one day I'm going to come with him, and I'm going to be ready. I'm going to say, y'all, I want to sign up. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and, and, and you know, be, be against somebody. There you go. Well, I'm going to take my glasses off. Uh-oh. Uh there you are right here. This is Mo Better. So right how you here. doing, Mo Better? My name is Jamie, man. How you doing, bro? We just want to come down here and record some content with you. So you're fighting tonight, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. What do you think your chances are coming out on top? Oh, uh, man, look, I, I got to have it. <laughs> Ain't about no chances. I got to get it. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. I'm coming out on top. You know, if I don't, so, I'm going to give it all I got. So some of this stuff's like between beefs that people have. This is a person you have a beef with, or no, it's just no. somebody you got I mean, matched up with. The love of the sport, right here. We just come out to do it. He from another area. I think two hours. I came six. So, you know, ain't no beef. We vegetarians out here just trying to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are y'all boxing or MMA? Uh, MMA. Okay. Next so, time I might get into boxing. I ain't. I ain't really trained that good this time. But okay. So you like to stand up? You ain't gonna take anything to the ground today? If I got to, I will. But I'm gonna more or less stand up, move around. You know. Make him work and see what he got. My man. I feel, I feel like you've been walking around the whole time right here. You got yeah. this energy to you, man. That's why I wanted positive to pull you over. Positive vibes only. That's what's only up. So tell us your name. Tell us why you're here. I'm Shay Nettinger, a.k.a. 717 Static on Instagram, TikTok, and that's my, my fight name. I've been here, I so said like every year, like for the past year and a half, I've been here every month, and I fought 16 times within the past year. And it's like a second home. Okay, what's your record right now? Three and eight in MMA. 0 and 1 in bare knuckle boxing. 0 and 1 in real boxing. And then I'm 0 1 wheelchair boxing. That was insane. So you're testing yourself in every ground yeah. there is here to test in, yourself on. I was just on. in Cleveland last weekend with, uh, for an amateur fight as well. Okay. So I'm trying to go pro as well. Okay, so what is it about this that made you want to come out here and start fighting this I've way? I've been watching Street Beast since 2008. Since like I was like 13, man, like just a little mm -hmm. kid watching Street Beast. And then I live in Pennsylvania, and I'm. <laughs> it's actually crazy because I looked up Neutral Corner Boxing Gym on Google, and I found out it was only an hour and 50 minutes for me. And I'm like, yep. I'm there. I went one time and I fell in love. I love this place. It's, it's literally like a second family. These people look out for me like my dad's house burnt down this year and it was a tragedy. Like it was the day of my bare knuckle boxing title fight here and mm. my dad showed up to watch my first fight and unfortunately my dog passed away and my dad lost everything and Street Beast made a GoFundMe to help my dad and they helped promote it and everything. And, it's actually awesome what these people do for, for their guys. I feel like some of you like pain. Does that make sense? Is <laughs> yeah, that right or wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Like, all my friends at home, I got my friend that just came down. He's fighting today for the very first time. It's just something about like having a rough day, and then you got that one friend you can call at the end of the night be like, yo, you trying to spar? Get everything out in that one 15 minutes with your friend. You don't think about nothing else. Like When I get in that cage, there's nothing in the world on my mind other than the person across from me. And at the end of the time, and every, every match, at the end of my match, I shake my opponent and give him a hug. So you would it's call it like a cleansing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a mental cleansing. Sense. Yep. Okay. Some people meditate, some people hike mountains, some people ride bikes. I get in the cage and I brawl until I get my mind clear. That's what's up, man. So good luck to you, brother. I hope you do with everything oh, yeah, you man. plan to do, man. I appreciate so, you. Yeah. We are from Italy. We are here for a project about street beef and the violence in a specific context like that, that anyone can be free and resolve the situation. So, Violence in this specific context is quite interesting for us because we come from Italy, so we don't have this kind of things. Especially the, I mean, the, the reason why street beefs is born is about resolving beefs, no? Right. So for us, it's uh, very much interesting. Face, when he founded it, he was like, okay, let's uh, just uh, not use guns to solve issues, but let's fight, no? And it's very interesting for us. I mean, as I told you, we've never seen something like that and we've okay. been studying a lot about violence, how it affects psychologically either the fighters or uh, the spectators as well. Also because this is a show, it's not just about something about resolving an issue. It's crazy for us, I mean the first time we got here, we've been studying a lot, we've been following Street Beats for years, but um, when you got here, I mean in the very actual place, we were like, whoa, I mean families are here, people is here with uh, I mean, their kids and stuff, so we were like, wow, I mean the environment is something that we 
weren't expecting as right. much. Respect exactly. is the most important yeah, word. It, it and it, here, it no one's got to get jumped, right? It's one on one. Yeah. You're not exactly. worrying about getting jumped exactly. on the street. Yeah, it's very much respect. I mean, respect is the basic of everything that we have seen so far, mm -hmm. and it's very respectful uh, between the fighters, uh, between the, the whole people that is here, which is beautiful. So thank you guys for watching, bro. I am always looking for stories. The wilder, the better. If you haven't watched the POR video right here, bro, go watch that right now. It's the thumbnail with the guy that's on fire. Yes, he is on fire. Yes, click it.